It's a disease that affects women more than men, often in younger years, teens, 20s, 30s, characterized by rashes, sun sensitivity, sometimes sores in the mouth, sometimes chest pain, arthritis, often in the hands, fatigue, very big component of, of this, uh, can affect the internal organs, the heart, the lungs, the brain, kidneys, uh, blood counts. So it can be very serious, even life-threatening. So lupus often flares up for a period of time. Uh, stress can bring it on. Uh, it can be inherited. Um, so a variety of things can set it off. Often you have to treat it for a number of years to quiet it down, to keep it from damaging things, and then it can go dormant again. So it can have a period of several years of flare and then a period of being quiet, maybe a long period. We kind of think of it as a lifelong disease, but uh, I think there's periods when it's very active and periods when it's hardly active in many of our patients. And uh, so we have to adjust what we do based on that. All the way from physical therapy, eliminate all the stress in your life, good luck, you know, <laughs> uh, to medications, to modifying lifestyle. Sometimes people, for instance, they have a stressful job, a stressful home, a stressful marriage, you know, the stresses of Western civilization or life, and sometimes eliminating a couple of those can actually make them better. As a physician, we tend to think of medicines, give them medicines to quiet down, which we do. Uh, monitoring the person is very important to make sure nothing bad sneaks in, and that's a very important part of treating lupus. For instance, uh, you can get kidney involvement and not know it, or you could have a drop in your blood counts and not know it, just feel fatigued. So we tend to monitor people for disease activity with blood tests as well as asking them how they're doing. When we think of chemo, we think of something the cancer doctors might use to kill a cancer cell. But when we take care of patients with lupus, we don't usually call it chemo. We'll just say these are the medications. Now some of them are the same medicines they use in cancer, but maybe not at the same level that they're using. We're trying to modify their disease. They're trying to kill a cancer. So there's, there's a difference there. But, uh, it's a fair term to say we have medications that are strong for lupus, so if you want to call that chemo, that's fine. If you want to call it medication, that's fine too.